In this tutorial, we will talk about the island detection feature in Chittabox. Islands are the pixels of a sliced model that has no model parts or supports connected to it, regardless of their sizes. Or to put it simply, isolated pixels and unsupported overhangs. Islands are likely to cause your print to fail. So it's important to find them before you start printing. Island detection helps you detect and remove floating islands or overhangs on your models, so your print is less likely to fail because of these issues. To run the detection, you need to be on the Slice Preview screen, and then click the Detect Islands button at upper left. When the detection finishes, to locate the islands, click the Show Island Layers icon. Then Chittabox will mark, with the red lines next to the preview slider, the layers containing islands. Now you can click the up or down arrows inside the preview layer input box to move to the next or previous island layer. Once you're on an island layer, you'll see that some pixels are marked with the red color, which are the islands identified. To remove these islands, you can click the Delete Island button. By default, doing so will delete the island on the current layer. If you want to remove all the islands at once, you can select islands of all layers, and then click the Delete Island button. This will get rid of all islands the software has found. But before you delete these islands, we suggest you take a look at them carefully. That's because not all islands are the isolated model parts that need to be removed. Some of them may just be unsupported overhangs, and removing them will corrupt the models. And if that's the case, you need to go back to the editing screen and optimize your support structure to cover these unsupported areas. Then slice your models and run the detection again.